Hey, it's Roy Richardson, the Tech Troublemaker, and this is a review for the Element Hub. In case you don't know, this is Cal Digit's Thunderbolt 4 Hub that they came out with. It has four USB-A that are 3.2, that will do up to 10 gig. Life is good, 10 gig each, isn't that amazing? And then on the back, it's got three Thunderbolt 4 ports. It is downward compatible with Thunderbolt 3, which is good because I have a Mac Mini. I have some old USB hubs that came over from my 2015 MacBook days, and I tried to use them with the Mac Mini. And in case you don't know, the Mac Mini only has like 39 watts of power on full power, so it's not enough to power everything. So I needed something that was going to power my devices. Right now, I have USB webcams. I have plugged up to two, three different cameras into my computer at one time. And I'm using Ecamm to do all the recording with, and so it handled it, but sometimes my USB hubs kind of struggled, and so I needed something to make it better. And this, I thought, was the answer. I know there's the um, T3 Plus. I decided to do this instead because this matched what I was trying to do. And so here it is. And it's got a Thunderbolt 4 right here. This is the one that's dedicated to plug into my computer. So plug this into your computer. And then here's the really cool power supply, 150 watts. This thing will charge up to a 60 watt device, so quite amazing. And I have plugged in, I did three webcams at the same time. I plugged two into the USB-A ports and I plugged one into the USB, the, the Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports. And, eh, well, I was hoping for a miracle, but it didn't handle it well. But that's asking a lot, and really, what insane person would connect three webcams up to their computer anyway? This one, this insane person here. But, I have plugged in my Stream Deck. I plugged in my Elgato Stream Deck, plugged in here. I plugged in my camera, and I have plugged in uh, USB thumb drives, and then I plugged in, I have a uh, USB-C to HDMI cable for my monitor. And so I plugged it in here, and strangely, it worked faster and better inside this Thunderbolt 4 hub than plugging that USB that USB C directly into the back of my Mac Mini. I don't know why, but it worked, and I'm very happy with it. So life is good there. It works. It it works usually on the Mac Mini, but sometimes it'll just go to sleep for some reason. I think there's something up. There's just been a firmware update, so it may be even better. But I absolutely love this hub. And if you want to plug in two or three devices into the USB-A side and three devices into the Thunderbolt side, I think you're going to find it works great. I'm very much loving the performance of it. And yeah. So I bought this drawer and I mounted my Mac Mini into it. And then I take the Cal Digit and I put it in here. And then of course I'll plug the cable in. So here's the cable. And just so I can have my video for the the video, I uh, had unplugged it. Okay, so then it goes in. And of course, there's a light on the other end that you won't see. You won't see the light until you actually energize it with power. So this is a 150 watt power supply. Um, and as I said, you can charge up to 60 watt devices with it. Quite amazing. So 150 watt power supply. This is the 150 watt power supply that comes with it. And like I said, you can charge up to 60 watt devices while it's running. And that's it. It's a great, I really love it. This has been a great addition. I have now repurposed my USB hub for something else. And so I'm pretty excited. Life is good. If you're looking for me on social media, I can be found here on Facebook and Twitter as Tech Trouble MKR. Twitter wouldn't sell me the other two vowels I needed, so yeah, there you go. I'm again, I am the tech troublemaker, and so thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!